Communications director of the New Patriotic Party has described as legal the mining concessions of the Ashanti regional chairman of the party. A leaked tape making waves on social media purportedly recorded by the embattled central regional vice chairman of the NPP mentioned Chairman Nchubo Isakun as having been engaged in illegal mining. Yawabian Samoan says the mining wound to me is engaged in cannot be illegal. It is important that we appreciate and realize that, yes, a grave matter has happened. But that grave matter happened because Professor Frimpon Boati himself raised it. It was not as if somebody else raised it for him. So Professor Frimpon Boati's integrity, as far as that difficult office is concerned, to me, is intact. Now, the question is, what do you do once the matter he raised has come up? As we speak, the excavators or some of the excavators, I can't tell the exact numbers, have been found. And beyond that, people have been arrested. I have seen that tip. I don't think Frimpon Boatin said anything out of the ordinary. The areas where illegal mining was most endemic are areas where we don't doubt the MPP strongholds. Are they not? These are areas where the vote tends to be higher for the NDC, uh, MPP. To the extent that MPP activists are also entitled eh, to participate in legal mining. Read my lips. They are also entitled to participate in what? Legal community mining. Then there is absolutely nothing wrong with Frimpon Boating facilitating community mining options for those people. And I heard on that tip distinctly from Paul Boatin saying that, go and find out from the Ashanti Regional Chairman's concession. Am I correct? The word concession was used. A concession is a legal authority, legal license to access mining lands. And therefore, wouldn't miss concessions are legal. No, John Bordeaux hasn't done anything. John Bordeaux had a discussion to facilitate access for, and that is where it ended.